I experience something directly against me. Like I receive spam messages and calls every day. Like it's at least 20 per day. And these messages usually um, contain harassment uh, text. I don't have clear evidence showing these uh, messages would come from uh, Hong Kong or Chinese government, but from our experience shared among human rights activists overseas, we know um, we usually receive these messages uh, after participating in some demonstration of, um, overseas and also um, after we have spoken publicly against the government. I saw from the news where a, a student who studied in Japan are being arrested back in Hong Kong for what she has spoken overseas. And this made me to have to reconsider my thesis topic. My original topic was about uh, national security law, a more political sensitive topic back in Hong Kong. I have to change my thesis topic into something less sensitive and in order to protect myself and my families back in Hong Kong. Every time I, uh, I saw these CCTV cameras, I would go and have a look on the brand of that cameras and also um, would be a bit more cautious when speaking nearby that camera. Dus wij um, gaan preventief nu met dat handelingskader uh, formuleren en wij hopen ook op die manier een uh, meldpunt te kunnen inrichten voor onze Chinese studenten dat als zij beïnvloed worden of als zij niet vrij zijn in hun handelen dat ze dat bij ons kunnen melden en dan kunnen wij kijken hoe wij ze zo goed mogelijk kunnen helpen zodat ze zich toch vrij kunnen uiten in hun mening. Maar ja, wat er in het uh, thuisland gebeurt, hebben wij minder invloed of geen invloed op. To me, I feel more furious. It's like I'm I'm now living in the Netherlands. I'm supposed to enjoy the freedom, the basic human rights everyone should have freedom of speech, academic freedom here, but transnational repression are restricting my freedom and limiting my scope of, uh, of my study here in the Netherlands. <laughs>